Now we're gonna get Adam's practice with everything that we've learned so far. So this has two parts that you're gonna do. The first part is you're going to identify the nucleus, the electron cloud, a proton, a neutron, if present, and an electron in each atom. So here you have five words. So this is a drag and drop, okay? So for example, electron here, um, there it goes. Electron, we're gonna move it right here because it's pointing at an electron. This is pointing at that area in the inside, in the center of an atom. So remember, that's gonna be the nucleus. So you're gonna grab that and drag it to the correct spot, okay? This is pointing at the outside, whoops. This is pointing at the outside. So we know that outside location is called the electron cloud. So we're gonna grab that and drag it here. And then this is pointing at the plus signs. Remember, protons are positive, that's the hint. So we're going to, so that's the first part, okay? The second part now is you're going to read the cards and match them to the atom. So you have several cards. Look, not all cards will be used. So we're counting the subatomic particles. So this one says four protons, five neutrons, four electrons. Well, here I see I only have one proton. So it's not that card and it's not that card. So it's gonna be one of these three. This one says one neutron. Well, there is no neutron, so it's not that card. This one says there are zero neutrons, okay? And this one says there's two neutrons. Well, let's go back to this one. This one says one electron. We have one electron. This is the correct card. So you're going to grab it and drag it in this box. And then mass number. So remember, when we're calculating mass, you're gonna count the inside. So you're gonna count what's in the nucleus. Well, we only have one proton, so that's one. So that means our mass number is one. So you're gonna grab it and drag it. So you're gonna do the same thing for each atom. You're gonna label the parts, then you're gonna count the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons. And then for mass number, you're gonna count the total in the inside of the nucleus. So you're gonna count the protons and neutrons. You're gonna add those numbers together. If you need any help, rewatch this video or ask the teacher.